Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now in this video I want to talk about sine wave speech. Uh, it's quite amazing, I won't tell you anything more about it because there's going to be a demo in a moment and that's really quite self-explanatory. But by looking at it we can also understand a bit about how the brain functions and then that will lead us into maybe to think about how uh, ML, artificial intelligence, will be uh, in the future. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I want you to listen to this sound clip. So here, get ready, listen to this. Okay, now <laughs> you probably didn't understand that. So let's just have another listen. Okay, you are hearing it right. This is basically, you hear some tones and some beeps and some whistles. You're not really hearing anything that should uh, make any sense. That's intentional. But now I want you to listen to another clip. She cut with her knife. Now you should have been able to hear that. That should have been fairly obvious to you. Now let's listen to those first clips again, all those beeps and whistles that you heard. And that's the amazing thing. So what's happening here is your brain, having heard the original now, is able to fill in the gaps of the sine wave speech and, and understand it. So you, the second time around you heard it, you were actually able to understand it. So it's kind of a, a, an amazing thing that the brain does in predicting the bits that are missing. Okay, now I've got more demos for you of this at the end of the video. This wasn't just a one-off trick. Uh, I've got some other demos for you. There's even software, in fact, that can create these, uh, these clips like this. Uh, we'll dive into the technicalities in a minute, but before we do that, let's just talk quickly about Blinkist. So Blinkist is a service where they take non-fiction bestsellers and they distill it down into the key ideas. And it's perfect for curious people who love to learn and busy people who don't have time to read. The bite-sized chunks which cover the most important things are called blinks. And using those blinks, you can get the key ideas from non-fiction bestsellers in minutes, not in hours. Another great feature is Blinkist Spaces. That's where you can create a group, a space with friends, colleagues, family members, and you can recommend blinks between you. And even if someone is not a premium member and they're in that space, they get full access to the titles that you recommend. Now, the latest Blink I listened to is The Master Algorithm, how the quest for the ultimate learning machine will remake our world. And as always with Blinkist, I was able to get those key ideas uh, quickly and understand what the author was trying to get over in just a few minutes. You can either read the Blinks or you can listen to it, which is what I prefer to do. And if you're a tech junkie like me, this stuff is absolutely fascinating. Sign up today for a 25% discount off an annual premium plan. Start your seven day free trial by using the link in the description below. Okay, so what you've been listening to is what's called sine wave speech. Sine wave speech is synthesized, so it's not actually just taking the original and kind of, you know, de degrading it. This is actually artificially generated based on the original, and it uses by using sine waves that mimic the frequency and amplitude patterns of the resonant peaks of natural speech. So if you talk about frequency and sine waves, this, of course, is a sine wave, and this is middle C, 262 hertz. And when you see something that's higher at 523 hertz, you can see the peak and the troughs are they're closer together. You get more of them in that one uh, in that one time period, and so that's a higher frequency. That's what it means, and that translates to higher tone. Middle C or one octave above middle C has a greater frequency, and that's that's the way sound works to our ears. Now, there's a thing here which I, I call a formant. Now, I'm not a speech therapist. I'm not a speech expert, but a formant is a concentration of acoustic energy around a particular frequency in the speech wave. It's how we perceive vowel sounds. Different vowel sounds are distinguished largely by their formant frequencies. Now sine wave speech is generated by using a formant tracker to detect the formant frequencies in an utterance and then synthesizing sine waves. So again it's artificially made that track the center of those formants. If you look here at a, a, a picture of different uh, vowels, hot, hat, hit, head, you can see the formants there are very clearly different and that's how we distinguish between them. And then if you look at a spectrogram of normal speech, that's it here. And there's lots of information in here that our brain is using to understand speech. Now, if you use a formant tracker, you can start to see here some of these formants that are used and how they're in the kind of the roots, the, the foundation of what we're hearing. And then this is the sine wave speech. Basically, you can take that and create using sine waves, artificially taking these vowel sounds, these formants, and turning them uh, into uh, uh, artificial sounds. But that's why we can't understand it. There's loads of information missing here, loads of stuff that isn't there. 
but we, uh, once you've heard the original, your brain can fill in what's missing in here with what's available here, and then we can understand it, which is absolutely the amazing thing about it. So here again, if you look at, this is the top one, this is the original, this is the bottom one, you can see it follows the same format, it's, it's the same, uh, you can see the same uh, frequency and amplitude as the original, it's mimicking the original, but rather than there being speech in here, it's just these sine waves that have been formatted, been created using those formants. And then when you listen to this, you can understand it, when you listen to this, you can't, and if you listen to this one and then this one, you can, because your brain fills in the gaps. So why am I mentioning all this? Well, there's plenty of research about this stuff. I'll leave lots of links to where I'm getting these clips from, for example, uh, and a link to this book. None of this is related to me. None of this has any affiliate links or anything like that. This is just for your information. The Experience Machine, How Our Minds Predict and Shape Reality by Andy Clark. And he uses sine wave speech as an example of how sensory input and prediction shape what we see, hear, and feel. Of course, pattern recognition along with prediction is at the core of current AI research. In fact, generative AI is a system which predicts what comes next based on its training and the current context, the prompt really, of what you typed in. So this really is important in what we're gonna get going forward in trying to mix together a generative AI, prediction, recognition, uh, and so on. Okay, so I've got some more demos for you, just to show you how this thing works. I'm gonna show, play the sine wave speech, then I'm gonna play the original, then I'm gonna play the sine wave speech again, and you should be able to hear it. Let's go for the first one. They're buying some bread. They're buying some bread. They're buying some bread. And here's the next one. She ironed her skirt. Now these still blow my mind every time I listen to it. absolutely amazing. Here's another one for you. The floor was quite slippery. These are all synthetically made, they're not degraded version of the original. Here's another one. The kettle boiled quickly. And one more. The man's painting a sign. Well, I hope you had some fun with that sine wave speech. I certainly did. Every time I hear it, I'm still amazed on how the brain works. And of course, this also gives us insight for a future direction for artificial intelligence. I would like to thank again Blinkist for sponsoring this video. You can start your seven day free trial by using the link in the description below. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.